Hello, ako nga pala si Reverse guys. So guys, ngayon panibagong video na naman at ang video natin ngayon is about Rebel Bots. So yeah, i-review lang natin siya and i-check natin kung ano nga ba yung mga features niya. Disclaimer, not a sponsored video. So yeah, and again, this is not a financial advice. Okay, not sponsored and hindi siya financial advice. So ito na nga guys, uh, bagong bago tong game na to, Rebel Bots. Okay, uh, hindi ko sure, parang hindi pa ata available, hindi pa siya nalalaro. Hindi ko sure, hindi ko sure, hindi ko, hindi ko pa, hindi pa ganun kapit. Mamay, check natin. Okay, ang napapansin ko lang kasi sa ibang mga Discord servers, sa mga Telegram channels, ay matunog tong Rebel Bots. Okay, and sa Twitter din, parang naririnig-rinig ko na siya. Uh, para kasi siyang Axie Infinity na, na may twist na onte Okay, na may twist na onte But, paano na nasabing may twist na onte Kasi diba sa Axie Infinity may mga body parts. Fix na yun. Dito sa Rebel Bots, pwede mong i-customize yung parts mo. For example, gusto mo ng, uh, ng ulo na ganito yung power, pwede mo siyang ilagay. Okay? Parang may nakita akong ganong feature niya. No? Uh, yun yung parang sa mga unique factor niya sa Axe Infinity. Pero, ayun nga guys. O baga, ang bilis na mga... <laughs> ang bilis na mga developers ngayon. Okay? Ang bilis na mga developers ngayon. Nakita nila yung origin. Okay? Marami lang nakita ng origin. So, maraming mga games ang magkakaroon na ng burning mechanism for sure. Uh, let's watch out for that. And, yun nga lang yung graphics, syempre. Uh, although, website pa lang netong game na to. Itong Rebel Bots, uh, ano na ako, okay na ako sa kanya. Hindi man okay, I mean, ang solid ng website. Kasi ang interactive niya, meron agad na video na magpiplay para mag-storytelling, ganun, ng kung ano yung... Yung laro. Okay. Kung ano yung story ng laro. So, halika. Uh, punta na natin. So, ito na nga. Skill-based play to earn. Uh, Soil Wars is a digital. Actually, tawag pala ka sa kanya ano, Soil Wars. Okay. Soil Wars is a digital collectible card game. Which take 10 minutes to learn and, a, and lifetime to master. Players get to build fierce teams of fighting robots in their home base. Defeat other teams in epic card battles and earn crypto rewards. So, yeah. May adventure mode. Okay. May adventure mode sila. Classic Axe Infinity style. So, ito na nga. May multiplayer mode. So, mapapansin ninyo. Uh, may enter din. Tapos, yung graphics. Ayos lang. Ayos lang yung graphics. Kung baga... Eh, para sa akin, mas maganda pa rin sa Axe Infinity. Pero, kung gusto mo ng robotic style na Axe Infinity. Ito yun. And, ito na nga. We have building bots. Build ultimate fighting bot. By combining robotic parts together. Then, decide whether to add them to your team or sell in the marketplace. So, ayan. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang i-customize. Agad-agad. Okay? So, for example, hindi mo pwede i-click. Ayan, no? So, ayan. So, pwede mong i-click ang angas. So, kagaya, kagaya nga na sabi ko kanina, ang interactive ng website niya. Okay? So, may kita mo na, in fairness, nag-effort yung team. Oh, nag-effort yung team. Ayan. So, kung gusto mong ganyan yung itsura niya, ayan. So, syempre, may iba't ibang skill yan and may iba't ibang price yan. So, 10,000 Rebel Bots ata to. After landing on soil, you, Mitropon Genesis Rebel Bots says control of an area and created their own kingdom. Now they must battle. So yeah. So yung sabihin, merong 10,000 Rebel Bots lang na yung binibenta. Then parang may breeding somehow. And then meron ditong limited uh, land plots which is syempre yung land gameplay. Unlimited fighting bots as a player in Soil Wars. You'll need to build and control a team of fighting bots. Each fighting bot is built from five different parts, which determines this unique abilities. There are three classes of fighting bots, military, industrial, and engineer bots. Creating the best combination of fighting bots in a team, each with unique parts, will give you the best chance of succeeding in battle, and etc, etc. So yeah. Ayan. <laughs> then, we have the roadmap. Okay, so May 2022. May 2022. Okay. Ando na yung cinematic game trailer. Uh, currently, nandito na tayo. No? Papasok na tayo. Then, marketplace launch. Okay. Uh, April 2022. So, abangan natin yan. Di ko parang available na natin yung marketplace. Yeah. Parang, parang pwede na yun. No? Or hindi pa. Parang hindi pa siguro. Hindi kasi specified yung dates. And then, we have dito naman, by 2023, Real Bots, Rebel Bots DAO, 
in the Centralized Autonomous Organization for the rebel bots will be formed because there is no I in robots. So yeah, um, by okay, June 2022 pa yung game launch. Okay. Medyo ano lang, no? parang patalon-talon yung roadmap niya. I mean, yung pagkakaayos. So, yun lang yung eh, napansin ko. February 2022, public token offering. So, ang token niya is Rebels. RBLS. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Tiyan natin investors niya. Ayan. So, isa sa mga uh, tawag doon, isa sa mga nakita kong goods to is yung Ubisoft. Okay. And, so, mga dinakaram ko ano yung Ubisoft. Like, isa yung sikat na sikat na game. Game creator. Okay. Especially sa mga consoles. So, alam ko may mga games yan sa mga consoles. And, magaganda yung mga graphics ng game na yan. And, you know, sobrang halaga na meron kang backer talaga. Or investor. Na big company. Okay. Kasi, Ibig sabihin long term eh. Okay? Ibig sabihin long term yung project. Okay? In yung parang, para sa akin lang ah. Para sa akin lang. Based on my uh, observation. Gagawa ko ng video. Gagawa ko ng video about dyan. Okay? Separate video. Pero, ayun nga. Once na yung investors mo is kilala. Okay? I think, mataas yung chance na hindi siya mangi slow rug. If ever man na bumaba siya, it's because hindi lang sustainable yung economy, pero hindi siya rug pull. Kumbaga, still at the end of the day, makakapag-ROI ka pa rin. In siguro, 1 to 2 years, pero hindi naman yung tipo na mag point zero 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 one na yung value ng coin. So, ayun. Uh, yun lang. Actually, may white paper siya. May white paper siya, kaso baka ma... I don't know, copyright tayo. So, hindi ko na lang din finiture. Kasi naka-PDF siya eh. So, oh, hindi tayo authorized na i-access yung kanyang white paper. No, unless talaga naka-public website yung white paper nila. Pero hindi, eh, hindi siya nakaganan. So, puna tayo sa frequently asked questions na lang. Hopefully, mabilis internet natin. Okay. Where's the team? Oy, Kiev. Ah, uh, lang. Ah, uh, tawag doon. From Israel and Kiev. Hindi ko alam kung sa Ukraine yan. Okay, uh, will there be scholarships? Ito yung mga tanong. Yes, the game is designed in a way to allow all types of users to enjoy it. In the Soil Wars Marketplace, there will be a scholarship mechanism built to allow easy creation and management of scholarships. So, parang pag-axe si uh, autonomous na or automated na yung scholarship. Kung baga, ano mo na lang. Meron sa Discord. Wala nga lang silang... Wala ta silang official telegram, no? Kasi kung meron, merong telegram group But I think hindi siya yung official group. Kasi hindi na pa-skill dito eh. Siguro nga. And then, ano pa ba? How can I reach the team? Pwede ka namang kumontak sa kanya. If, ayun, ayun. So, what do I need in order to play? So, para mapaglaro ka. Uy! Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, guys. Like, you need one land NFT and three fighting bots in order to start playing the game. So, meaning, kailangan mo ng isa pang... isa mo ng land bago ka makalaro. Okay, you read that, right? Every player will get a complete team with the land you purchase. Ah, uh, hindi ka sure kung pwedeng, ah... Uh... Yeah, Marami pa kasi, ano, marami pa kasi talaga ang tanong din with regards to this. Pero, eh, correct me if I'm wrong, base sa pagkakaintindi ko, one land NFT and three fighting bots in order to start playing the game. Okay, so, we need land para makagawa tayo ng robot. Okay. Now, players can earn in multiple ways. Winning adventure. Bidding and selling, winning season rewards. So, yun lang yung mga typical, ano. And, when did this project started? Oh, August 2021 pa pala. And then, how can players earn from Soil Wars? Ano pa ba? 
Is there a difference between fighting bots? Okay. So, I buy rebel bots, uh, fighting bots. Okay. They are NFTs on the Ethereum network and govern the kingdoms which contain players' lands. And then, new team. Nakita nung ata dito. Who's the team behind? I should know... I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So, yun lang. Um, medyo nagulat lang ako dun. Medyo nagulat lang ako dun sa... Kaya lang ng one, one land. Okay, do, do I need a rebel bot NFT to play? To play, need one land NFT and three fighting bots. Rebel bots ownership. That's the owner to the ability to govern a whole kingdom filled with lands. Number of players. The number of player lands in your kingdom increases with the rarity of the NFT, which can be seen on rarity tool. So yeah, pretty unique. Okay, pretty unique. And uh. Parang new experience to. Kasi nire-require niya yung mga players or nire-require niya yung mga investors na bumili ng land. Hindi ko alam kung magkano yung presyo ng land neto. And so far, wala pa ata siyang presyo din with regards sa mga tokens. So, anong thoughts ko dito? I think it has a potential. It has a potential. Noong nakita ko pa lang yung Ubisoft dito, na-entice na yung mata ko. Okay? Nakita ko na to last time. Nakita ko na yung uh, white paper and then nakita ko na to. Uh, may mga details na talaga rin na ako na hindi pa alam since hindi pa naman din talaga ako naka-divulge or naka, paano ba, indulge pala. Indulge din sa mismong uh, website nila. Okay, so ngayon pa lang din. And yeah, it's quite shocking na kailangan mo ng one land and three rebel bots. No, or fighting. Three, anyway? Three fighting bots para lumaban. Okay, but uh, I'm pretty bullish. Okay, to this uh, game, uh, hindi ko lang alam kung magbuboom siya. Kasi sobrang, di man sobra, pero may kita mo yung, ano, eh, yung gameplay niya na may pagka-accent Infinity style. Yung turn-based card game. No, eh, magkakaroon na Axie Origin. So, dahil nga, dahil ba, kasi maraming players ang gusto na, ano, eh, maraming players ang gusto ng Axie Infinity Classic. So, is there a chance na yung mga players maglaro nito kasi namimiss nila yung classic ng Axie Infinity kapag pumasok na si Axie Origin? That's actually a question that is actually a good, no? That is actually a question that is a, paano ba? That is interesting, okay? Interesting and, you know, we are quite curious of kasi... Hindi natin alam. Hindi natin alam kung paano ang gagawin ng mga players and investors. Okay? If mamiss nila yung Axe Infinity Classic, mag-shift ba sila dito and it might become a reason for this game to pump up? I don't know. It's just a theory. Okay? Random theory that came inside my mind just now. So, yun lang. Buya.